today we're doing some flipping, pitching, and also some punching. This setup I'm gonna show you now is what I prefer for a pitching and flipping setup. So I got 50 pound braid, bobber stopper to hold your weight, half ounce weight, depending on the thickness of my vegetation, and a heavy three or four alt extra wide gap hook. I've got the Fresh Baits Beetle in the Oxblood color. I like natural colors it, when I've got nice clear water. I like to kind of match the watercolor, thinking about, okay, this beetle will resemble, say, a brim bluegill, a small bait fish. Uh, the color pattern's right for it. The profile's right for it. So, always want to rig it weedless. I like to hide the eye of the hook. Kind of measure, looking at the bait, where my hook point's gonna go through. Nice and straight. And then I text pose, or what I call skin hooking the hook, so the point of your hook is not exposed. And that's your setup. Slide your bobber stopper down. And there you go. Now, for when I go maybe say punching, I like a black blue. It's a great choice in, down in Florida. The, my pitching setup is 50 pound test. I like to go heavier for punching. I use 65. Again, a heavy, heavy gauge hook. And usually with your punching, you're gonna go, you're gonna have to go with at least an ounce, ounce and a quarter. Some guys even go up to two ounces, depending on how tightly the vegetation is packed together. And again, same thing. Rig your bait. It's got to be weedless. If it's not weedless, it will you'll be hung up all the time. Rig your bait as straight as possible so it doesn't spin as it descends through the water column. Much larger bait, still a, a nice profile. So with punching, we have the heavier weight. Like I said, ounce, ounce and a half, two ounce. It's called punching for a reason. You have to punch through the vegetation. Sometimes it's packed really, really tightly. The more tightly it's packed, the heavier weight that you need. A compact bait that slides through is also uh, beneficial. Uh, in the area we're in today, an area that's full of hydrilla that has uh, areas where the hydrilla is thinner. So you, when you see in the water, you'll see a darker spot. That would be a place for a, a bass to make a bed. You kind of get the light right. Usually the sun behind you, you can see better. You'll pitch your beetle in those darker holes. Work in the edges of that hole. A lot of times you'll, uh, a hole about you know three foot across can have a really big fish in it. When you're flipping, it's a shorter, closer to the boat technique. I get it to uh, cattail edges, edges of grass lines. If you got a kind of a straight grass line, it's easier sometimes to, to flip. You can really be kind of a surgical precision putting your bait in each different place. And you can do, it's very similar techniques. You can use your, your lighter one, depending on how thick the vegetation is. Or if you're flipping and you have a mix of vegetation where you have uh, like a floating mat, around those cattails. Sometimes a better choice is to go with your punching setup so you can punch and flip the uh, cattails at the same time. So normally when, when your bait falls through the mat, I would say uh, at least 80% of my strikes come on the initial fall. When I flip in the mat, I don't let it just fall on a, on a loose, limp line. I follow it down with my rod tip. You wanna maintain contact with your bait at all times if it's falling on a loose limp line a lot of times you'll get a bite you don't feel him if you're following him down you get the strike you feel him then you can strike back so once the bait is down sinks and is in on the bottom i do a lift and drop lift and drop so if you get bites on the initial drop and you start getting a lot of bites on the initial fall you know you can probably fish a little faster on days when the fish aren't, aren't as active, sometimes you kinda have to soak the bait. You have to yo-yo it or lift and drop more. If you find that you, you're uh, lifting and lowering your bait you know, four or five, six times, and then you get bit, keep that in mind. Your next few flips, do that again. Kinda establish a pattern, if you wanna call it a pattern. Sometimes the fish aren't as active and need to be coaxed into biting. 